Every spring, at the two-year-olds in training racehorse auctions, young thoroughbreds are whipped into sprinting at excessive speeds to impress potential buyers. These events are called under tack shows. Here, buyers are hoping to identify the next Kentucky Derby winner. The juvenile racehorses are forced to run one-eighth of a mile in times faster than they will ever run in their future racing careers. Many of the horses at these under-tack shows are still yearlings. They are physically immature with underdeveloped bones and muscles. Sprinting at these dangerous speeds, especially at such a young age, generates immense force and risks a catastrophic breakdown. Dr. Sheila Lyons, a prominent equine veterinarian who has been featured on the cover of the Blood Horse magazine, wrote, quote, pushing these immature two-year-old horses for speed before they have reached physical and mental maturity is recklessly dangerous and systematically damaging for the animal, while also proving to be unreliable for the prospective buyers as a predictor of future racing ability. At an under tack show in May 2011, this filly suffered a gruesome breakdown on a sloppy track. Witnesses described the breaking of her cannon bone as sounding like a rifle shot. Oh, yeah. In slow motion, you can see bone fragments explode out of her lower leg, leaving her foot to dangle. At an under tax show in June 2011, this colt named Merciless Cat suffered a fatal burst aorta. The temperature on the track was over 100 degrees. Dennis Brida, a former trainer and past executive director of the New York Thoroughbred Breeders, called these, quote, idiotic speed tests and said, we are, quote, butchering these horses. Conducting intense speed trials with vulnerable and erratic juveniles puts the lives of both horses and jockeys in jeopardy. Heads up in the chute, have a loose horse headed your way. Look out, look out. Please go to PETA.org to send an email demanding that the four major thoroughbred auction companies end this carnage. Thank you.